What is up? I'm Moana Turtle. Happy Cosmic Eclipse release day. Happy November 1st. Uh, it is a very exciting time to be in Pokemon. Um, I feel like I say that a lot, but I really mean that. Cosmic Eclipse, a set that is real, I'm really excited for, you know, Hidden Fates was so hyped. It's like, oh my gosh, how can they follow it up? And I actually think they did a good job with Cosmic Eclipse. And then come mid-November, Sword and Shield. Uh, this is going to be the first Pokemon game we've played since uh, Silver and Gold. So I am so excited. And uh, so what are we doing today? Of course, we're opening Cosmic Eclipse. We have 12 packs. <clears throat> now that Cosmic Eclipse is finally released, like officially, we are already rationing. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of happened was we managed to get a lot of product uh, ahead of time so if you haven't seen those previous videos definitely go check them out we did pretty good on pulls but uh we are still waiting for all of our pre-orders so we're going to be kind of rationing we'll probably do some hidden fates openings in the near future just because we are waiting for our online orders to come in you know we did kind of do the whole support the lgs's and bought a ton of packs but uh yeah they're pretty expensive all right for our first pack we have a piplup cosmog a rowlet is our first reverse was hide and seek flip a coin prevent all damage eh. And, ooh, Fion, very nice. You know, uh, it's kind of like a escape rope attached to a Pokemon, but you can basically use it any turn, any time. All you need to have is a spot on your bench. So, very cool. Or it's a one-sided escape rope to the side that affects your opponents. Could be, could be good. I mean, I do think more often than not, you know, you have your Pokemon in the active, and everyone else is on the bench to be on the bench. Um, you know, it's kind of rare where they have two Pokemon that are ready to go and fight. So I still see that card as very good. Jolteon, these evolution things are super cool. I do like this Sanchu art. Kind of looks like an igloo. <laughs> Ponyta, Sunkern, a Cosmog, Psyduck, Tropius is our reverse, and then a Entei. So you finally managed to get your hands on some Cosmic Eclipse. Let me know in the comments what your best pulls are. We are doing very well on the character rare front. I think we're almost done. Although we still need the special N or the uh, Reshi, um, Reshi Ram. That's what it's called. And I imagine that one will be the hardest to get. And I think we also need like Vile Plume. And then from there, it's only a couple of the regular ones. So I think we're, we'll get there in due time. Palpitude and Gallade. And maybe our best pull so far. Let's see, we did get a Guzman Hollow, which I really liked. All right, let's get our first hit of this opening. Let's see, Vaporeon. Makes your evolutions a little bit uh, beefier. <laughs> Gives them some more hit points. Trap Inch. Flabebe. Ooh, Stoutland. Here's our first character rare of this opening. Oh, this is really cool. I think this is like my third one of this card. And actually, this one is really centered. And I feel like... Actually, I'll get into that in a second. Oh, wow. What a loaded pack. There's Reshiram. This card is so strong. If I had to bet, like, what is the most likely tag team that'll be successful, I would vote for Reshiram. You know, anytime there's fires, like, oh, good, more, uh, more welder targets, and yeah, this, this means you need electric energy too, but my gosh, so strong. 90 damage for every energy that you can discard from your bench Pokemon, and yeah, these character rares, so... I feel like a lot of them are off center. This one is maybe very slightly, but much less than a majority of the other ones I've seen, where they're kind of like uh, off center to the right. And you know, these guys, they, they seem like they're not too hard to pull. But the thing I'm curious about is how difficult it will be to get a PSA 10. So I'm curious, I'm excited for kind of like to do some Pokemon episodes in the coming weeks to see kind of how these cards evolve price wise. Uh, especially for the well-centered ones. Alright, off to a good start. We got a monster tag team. 
Ooh, one card we've still yet to pull is the Charizard Breaks In. Or oh, actually, we, we did pull a Venusaur Snivy during pre-release, but we did trade it away. So we are still lacking those two tag teams of any form of them. So let's get that Charizard Breaks In. Draw Energy, pretty cool card. Put that off to the side. Eevee, very boring Eevee as far as, far as those go. Duskull, very cool card. Flabebe, always fun to say that. Iggly Buff. Look how off-center that one is. But another interesting card. I feel like it would be kind of cool to try to make this card work. A low and slam slash. Have I seen this? Flip a coin. Prevent all damage. Never a fan of those. Reinforce needle. Attach to it. Those 60 more. Mmm, no, thank you. Ah, we did pull a alternate art. These guys. That was pretty cool to get. And so we can finally start to try to figure out what the pull rates are. So these packs are from a sealed booster box as opposed to before we were doing kind of like loose packs. And we were getting, um, our pull rates were just fine, you know, but uh, now we can kind of really zero in on what we can expect from a booster box. Teddy, Ursa, Golette, Oddish, and a Crabomitable. If you guys never caught one of our streams yet, uh, we do stream Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday evenings at 7 p.m. East EST. And right now we've been playing a lot of PTCGO. And uh, come mid-November, we're going to make that switch to Pokemon Sword and Shield. I will kind of play it by ear to see what people want to see more. But I think we'll definitely stream both of them. And the split we'll just have to figure out. Guzma and Hala. Um, let's see. You get a stadium card if you discard two you can also get a tool and special energy so it is kind of like a three for three so pretty good but it's like very specific kind of cards i guess worst case you can just do the stadium one which hey fetch a stadium not a very strong for supporter but that'll do carvana off center yeah the centering like the whatever the cutting machine was doing <laughs> it was very uh didn't do a very good job All right, big shout out to everyone that um, all the subs out there and everyone that kind of, you know, supports the channel, even if it's as simple as hitting the like button. And uh, if you've never jumped in our discord yet, definitely encourage you to do so. It's been a lot of fun to chat with you guys and a lot of times about random stuff, not even about Pokemon. All right, let's see. We got Dark Tricks and then, ooh, Volker. When I saw the fire, I thought it was going to be the Charizard breaks in. This is a very interesting card. I wish it did three damage instead of two, but I love the idea of it. Just another win condition that will be hard to disrupt if you can get like three of them and then each. God, that's a lot of work though. And then it's only, even if you get three of them, it's only uh, 60 damage. Can you even, and it's only once during your turn. Even at three damage, is that at three damage? I still not sure it'll be strong enough. Although it could definitely disrupt a lot of strategies, but definitely two just feels too weak. All right, let's see. We got three packs after this one left. Pretty good ratio for our pulls. We got Pig Knight, Stuffle, Ponyard, Litleo, a Coughing, Nose Pass, Tangela. And then, ooh, Kyogre, I haven't seen you yet. Let's see, attach two water energy cards from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. I like that. Hmm, is this how we can use, I don't know, I'm not sure how you get them in the discard pile. Actually, there's a lot of supporters to do that. And then you can use this to get ready your Blastoise Piplup. Hmm, I like that. And then, Swirling Waves, one third discard energy from this Pokemon. That's like desperation if you're using that. I like the idea of running that. Yeah, let's say turn one, you know, use a supporter to discard some cards, some energy into the discard pile, and then use that attack to get ready your Blastoise for an, a 150 attack next turn, which will also ramp up another Blastoise, so, hmm, maybe that's something we'll have to try. Tag call, this card, I want the secret rare of this. This card is insane. I feel like any tag team deck is going to be a, a automatic at least handful of those i'm not sure if you need four because 
I mean, I guess Mew, Mewtwo decks could uh, would benefit. Like they have plenty of targets, but I feel like a lot of their decks will only have like three, four targets. Boiling Blood Lichen Rock, pretty cool. Uh, if your opponents, if you you're facing a GX and they have an, an energy attack, so free attack for 130. All right, two packs left. Let's get one more pull. Whether it's a character rare or a GX, doesn't matter. But yeah, so we're going to be, <laughs> ironically, on release day, we're starting our rationing. And then once, ooh, great catcher, such a cool card. But then once we get our boxes in from our pre-orders, we're going to be doing plenty of openings. We got Ducklet, Swirlix, Grimer, Mimikyu, and Glalie, Glalie. I always want to say Galalee, but then I look at it, it's like, oh, it's G-L, not G-A-L. So, Galalee. I feel like Galalee is a better name. All right, last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Come on, let's see. Oh, if I could pick anything, it would be that tag. What's it called? Tag call. But uh, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel. If you have, Be sure to catch us on Twitch. And, uh... Yeah, here we go. Lillipop, Skrelp, Pikachu, Flareon. Oh yeah, buff 30 damage per for your attacks. And for our last pack, ooh, Ultra Necrozma. Oh wait, this card is actually really cool. All right, so you can't attack unless you have two or fewer prizes remain. So super late game, but only for two energy. It is weird type, so uh, psychic and metal. But hey, any any Necrozma, Ultra Necrozma deck already kind of needs those. Luster of Downfall, 170 for two energies. So I feel like I want to sneak one of these into my um, Malamar decks, Giratina Malamar decks, and you know you can just um, Ultra, no, uh, Mysterious Treasure this guy out when late game, and then kind of use him for some late game damage. Especially if you only have two prizes, uh, and you're kind of using this to fight, it's okay if he gets knocked out, then you have one left. So. That's it for this video. Happy release day, happy November, and lots of exciting stuff to come in the Pokemon uh, franchise. And I'm super excited to bring you guys lots of content. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.